Imagine how incredible it would be to be able to sit down with an attending, someone from the hospital you really look up to who's a true master in their field and have the chance to work through clinical cases with them every single week. You tell them what information you want from the patient, what questions you'd ask, what differentials you're thinking based on the data and what actions you take. And as you go, they'd give you real-time feedback on everything. Great job asking about that, but hey, you missed a key finding here, or those differentials are solid, but don't forget about this other critical possibility. Or maybe you nailed those labs and orders, but hey, you forgot the patient needs to be admitted to the ICU. We'd all agree that this kind of mentorship would be amazing, but the problem? Well, no attending has time to do that with each of us personally every single week. But the good news is that we now have a tool that simulates exactly that kind of training. It's called Healer by the New England Journal of Medicine. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how it works and why it might become your new favorite study tool. But what exactly is Healer? Well, technically it's a tool designed to teach clinical reasoning, but personally, I like to think of it more like a mental gym for doctors because it is, it's a place where your brain learns how to think like a physician. And no, it's not about reading more textbooks or cramming journal articles, you already have plenty of resources for that. Healer trains you by simulating real life clinical decision-making scenarios. Here you'll take a full patient history, guide the physical exam, review labs, adjust your differentials as new information comes in, place medical orders, decide on hospitalization level, and even choose treatments, just like you would in the hospital. And then you'll get expert feedback on every single step of the process so you can see where you're doing great and where you need to improve. But how does Healer actually work? Well, let's take a look. First, go to the Curious main page. On the sidebar, click this button labeled New England Journal of Medicine Healer Patient Simulations. Once you're in, you'll land on this interface. Feel free to explore, but for now, we'll focus on the section called Practice. This is where you'll find all the clinical cases. You can filter them by acuity, patient age, difficulty level, organ system, and more. Once you find a case you're interested in, just click it and hit Start. You'll now see the simulation dashboard. At the top, you'll find all the diagnostic stages. On the left, two-thirds, the patient data. And on the right, a space to write your analysis and differential diagnosis. Now, solving the case is quite simple. All you need to do is first pick the clinical findings you think are relevant. Then write the patient summary and reasoning in the diagnostic pad. And finally, write down your differential diagnosis in order of probability. Make sure to list both the more likely ones and the ones you simply can't miss. Then start moving to the other stages. As you gather new data, refine your analysis and update your differential. You can go as deep or as concise as you think is appropriate in all of these stages. And once you've worked through all of them and you have your final analysis with your differentials, hit submit. Then rate your confidence in your main diagnosis and begin the diagnostic pause. Here, Healer is going to show you the top three diagnoses that an expert would consider in a case like this. We'll then think about the key findings that were showed in the case and reflect on how each one of them changed the probability of each one of these three diagnoses. If a finding strongly suggests one disease, drag it into that circle. If it applies to two conditions, place it in the overlap area. And if it's shared by all three, it goes right in the middle. When you're done, hit submit and move on to the management section. Here, you'll choose the most likely diagnosis, place orders for labs, treatments and consults, decide if the patient should be admitted and where, and outline a comprehensive management plan. Once that's done, rate your level of concern for this patient, hit submit, and you'll get to the final and most valuable part, the expert feedback. So the expert feedback is where things get really interesting because this is where you see how your clinical reasoning skills and decision-making is stacked up against the one of an expert. You'll start by analyzing which elements of the history, physical exam, and labs the expert considered important and whether you picked up on them too. It's a great chance to reflect on what you might have missed, which signs you overlooked or dismissed as irrelevant. Next, take a look at how your management plan compares to theirs. And again, use this as a learning moment. Think about the key actions you skipped over or didn't prioritize so that when you face a similar case in real life, you're able to act appropriately. Next, you'll see a performance summary, which is an overall assessment of how you approach this patient case. From there, you can dive deeper into specific metrics using the top menu. In diagnostic accuracy, you'll see which differentials you nailed and which ones you missed in each step of the process. In data acquisition, you'll compare the findings you selected versus the ones the expert did. In illness script concordance, you'll analyze whether your own interpretation of each finding matches how it truly behaves across the three key differentials. And in the last two tabs, you'll revisit your entire case reasoning and management plan compared side by side with the one of the expert. And that concludes our tour of Healer. Now it's time for you to jump in and see what it can do for your clinical reasoning skills. Thanks again for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.